100 G is a term that we use in the industry. It's kind of short for 100 gigabit ethernet. Ethernet's a type of uh, protocol for you know, the moving traffic around an internet network or any kind of network for that matter. And 100 gig or 100 G is the next progression. Um, 10 gig occurred or 10 G occurred probably in the 2006, 2005 timeframe. And prior to that, it was one gig. And then prior to that, it was fractional portions of that. So it's in some ways a very just organic progression but from an exponential point of view, it really increases the volume and the capacity that is gonna exist, um, not only in our network, but in networks around the world. Uh, it, our industry is interesting in that we really haven't stopped growing for north of 20 years, and so, and there's no predictions that it's gonna stop growing anytime soon. So for the industry, uh, the growth from in 100 gig really provides this next step in regards to just overall capacity and really helps uh, not answer the supply demand question, but certainly helps create the next step in that process as we fill that supply demand uh, equation. So for the industry as a whole, it's, a, uh, it's an important step. It also helps from an overall cost perspective or cost per unit can uh, be positively affected by moving up from a scale point of view. From a global internet industry point of view, the biggest driver of traffic is video. Uh, video comes in a number of different formats. There's obviously companies like Netflix, Hulu, there's also YouTube, a lot of user generated content, uh, and then just uh, video that ties to other types of applications as well. Uh, so video as a whole is a, probably the biggest driver of traffic volume, but I think in a, from a business perspective, the cloud has become such an important part of how businesses are getting business done. They no longer just need to be connected to the internet, they need to have a distributed, resilient, scalable set of services and applications that exist, and they need to get to those applications at any given point in time. Customers moving to 100 gig right now are really being driven by a couple of, of factors, or, or maybe a little bit of both factors. Uh, the first one primarily is just from a cost point of view. The capital required to support that capacity has become more cost effective than 10 by 10 gig, for example. So you have the same amount of capacity with a lower capital cost. That's an important factor for our industry. The second component is generational progressions from a hardware perspective. And so as hardware vendors like Cisco and Juniper are deploying their next generations of routers and switches, allowing people to move to that next uh, larger port type provides the benefit that the customers need to kind of take that next step in the progression. Uh, at NTT, we were able to deploy our first 100 gig ports to customers late last year. Uh, we'd had them on our own backbone for a little over a year prior to that, but we had the first kind of customer requirement or customer demand last year. In the beginning of this year, 2015, we've really seen an uptick in interest and additional deployments that are scheduled now and are being planned to be uh, implemented by the end of this year as well.